here in studio. I have criminal defense attorney Josh Schiffer and criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Jack Rice. All right, gentlemen, back again today. You were here yesterday. We're ready. Right, we're jumping right in <laughs> to the deep end in this case. And I know you were watching this trial earlier today and watching some of the strategy and what they're doing. And, and, and really give us your assessment today now that we're further along in the testimony, the reality of the state and your opinion being able to prove murder, not the child abuse, the murder of his nine-year-old son. Jack, let me start with you. Okay, let's split it apart first. Let's think child abuse on one side, let's think murder on the other. What they really have is a very weak case on the murder charge. They have a lot more on the child abuse, so that's where you focus first. I think the mistake that the defense has is this, is what they've really not addressed is this piece. They had a in-home nurse, they had two in-home nursing aides, they had a dietitian, they had a guardian ad litem, and more. So at least five people that I can count. Not a singular effort was ever made to call authorities. They are all mandatory reporters. Not one time. And the idea now is they're all th up in arms about this. Are we suggesting that they were all lying then? Because that's literally what you would have to assume mm -hmm. if what they're saying now is completely different. And it's completely different. And the defense is really ignoring that. That is the drum that you beat from beginning to end. Because if you can do that on the one side, on this issue of child abuse, it really shows the weakness of the murder. I'm not seeing it. I'm wondering where it is. I keep thinking to myself, come on, you can do this. I, I believe in you. That's how you defend a case like this. And you haven't seen it yet. So tell me this, Josh, because some of our viewers have talked about, well, there are two different charges. There's the murder, and then you have the abuse of a child resulting in death. Is it, as a defense attorney, would you ever ask a court to separate those charges? Well, they're separated automatically because they're independent and they have independent factors that need to be proven fully and completely in order for a jury to authorize a conviction or, in fact, order the jury to convict if the factors have been met. But like what Jack said, they don't have the strength across the board. They've got the really good child abuse. And you're right, they need to be focusing on it. And the defense, I'm waiting for the defense to come back and say, with all this state safety net, and this is the first time you're bringing it up, were these state agents, these nurses, incompetent, lazy, bad at their job? They certainly didn't. Or didn't liars. Or liars. Or liars. liars. And which is it? Are you lying then or are you lying now? And Dare I say it? I don't, I don't want you two against and me in a court case. Get beyond a reasonable <laughs> doubt with five independent witnesses, and then they're just going to carry and travel under a murder allegation where they don't have a body? Come on. And so far, that's the murder piece is what I think we're still looking to hear. The evidence the state still has a long way to go in presenting that. Oh, we case. have more. We, we have, have more. more coming. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. We're going to take a short break. Don't worry. Jack and Josh will stay with me here. And we're going to have more from the missing son murder trial. We're going to go back into that courtroom and back to our breaking news as well that the sentence for Ghislaine Maxwell is in. 